So this first meditation is um, about using ego to heal issues. It doesn't matter what belief system you have, what modality you work with. Ego will always be there to help. So what I'd like you to do is just take a moment and relax. Invite your feet to relax, which immediately opens up your root chakra and allows the energy in your body to flow through your legs, through your feet, into earth. You'll notice as your feet relax and the energy starts flowing, the top of your head naturally and instinctively starts to feel light and tingly as your crown chakra responds by opening. Invite the top of your head to relax so that all the beautiful, sacred, cosmic, and divine source energy can flow in through the top of your head, filter through your body, through your heart, down through your core, through your legs, through your feet, your beautifully relaxed feet to flow deep into earth where Pacamama, Mother Earth, our beloved Gaia, readily absorbs and consumes all of this energy and sends it off through the planet, magnified with glorious, love-filled abundance. And focus on your feet, giving them permission to relax and flow. Notice the top of your head feels even light and relaxed as if you feel any pressure or pain, that it's just your natural instinctive self-protective mode when any external force comes and taps upon you, a little jumped and startled. If you feel any pain or pressure um, or tightness, just acknowledge it. Thank it for being one with you. Give it permission to resolve itself and give your head permission to relax and the energy to flow. You'll notice that you do not even need to manage anything. Everything manages itself. All you need to do is acknowledge with gratitude and extend permission for your body to manage itself. Just as your lungs breathe on their own, your heart beats on its own, all of your inner workings of your body function on their own. We also invite divine essence to flow in through the top of our head and through our body to our feet and out. You'll notice there isn't even any need to worry about blocked chakras or anything because the energy flows. It flows like a river going down a mountainside. If a river is flowing and the water is flowing downward, it doesn't worry if there's a boulder in its way. It flows over it. It flows around it. In time, it may even pick it up and carry it down the mountain with it. The energy flows, and where it flows, it flows in, through, absorbs, surrounds, emanates out from around your body. If more energy is coming in than you're comfortable with, you can invite your root chakra to expand deeper and wider. And that will help the flow go through unencumbered. As this energy is flowing, invite your focus 
to be on your root chakra. For this moment, you may imagine your root chakra as extending from your hips down through the ground deep into earth. You may see it like a cone. You may see it as flowing energy. However, your root chakra is revealing itself to you at this moment is perfect. You may see it as the color red, or you might see it as the river that we were describing, or flowing energy. Take a moment and play with your root chakra. Invite it to expand out wider. And as the energy is flowing through it, see how that feels. Does that invite more energy to flow? Or is it spreading the same amount of energy further, allowing your root chakra to feel a little more light and airy? You can send your root chakra deeper and deeper into earth. You can electrify or magnetize your root chakra. And how does that feel around you? The energy around you, does it become electric as it connects with your root chakra? can light up your root chakra energy and send bright light flowing all around you deep into earth. Root chakras love to be played with. Every chakra loves to be played with. Invite your root chakra to be as beautiful and powerful as it can be with wonderful flowing energy. And invite it to present itself to you how it wishes to appear to your senses in this beautiful, magnificent, powerful way. And now invite your root chakra to rise up to your bosom, to your heart chakra. All three of your heart centers and let your heart chakra nestle, rest securely and with comfort on the root chakra. If your sacral and solar plexus chakras activate at this time, that's fine. If they choose to stay out of the mix, that's fine. Whatever naturally happens is perfect. But let your heart center rest on this beautiful root chakra. And let the senses of this experience present themselves to you. It may be visual or it may be a feeling. You may find it very comforting to have all this beautiful support for your heart center. Allowing your heart center to relax. Knowing how well it is being supported in a structural way, an emotional way, energetically. And that all the energy of your heart is being supported by the beautiful energy of our planet, our divine Gaia, 
Pacamama, Mother Earth. You can feel as our Divine Mother is supporting your heart center through your root chakra, that you are receiving the love of our planet with full support for your heart, for your love, your love of self, your love of all, anything that is below the resonance of love, our Divine Mother, through the love and support of your root chakra, is able to send extra blessings and appreciation to your full heart center. Invite your heart center to receive this beautiful, divine, maternal love and blessings. With all of this beautiful, grounded, loving, heart-centered, energy. You may feel the top of your head is calling for attention. Invite the top of your head to relax and open in its own way and its own comfort. Invite the top of your head to relax invite your crown chakra to open up and receive the divine blessings of source, the universe, cosmic love, all the multidimensional, joyous, healing love that flows in through our crown chakra. Give the top of your head permission to relax and absorb, receive, and flow down, sending all of this beautiful energy directly to your heart, your third eye and throat may also feel activated and involved, or they may choose to observe. Allow your heart to receive root chakra, Gaia-infused love and support from below, and source crown chakra, source-infused cosmic, angelic, multi-dimensional love flowing in from above. You may even imagine all the divine beings from Earth magic and cosmic interdimensional magic, angels above, nature and animal spirits below, sending their love and kisses and licks and purrs and angelic wings and feathers to your heart from both sides. Just loving. Wherever in your bosom is a frequency below love, just as a scratch on a child's arm, invite the divine to kiss and heal whatever they find. So now, I would like you to look into your heart. Ask 
your heart for a small wish from the heart. It can be anything. A wish of something you would like in your life. It might be a cup of tea, or it might be to become a Broadway star. Whatever wish is there, invite it to reveal itself. And now, I want you to call upon your ego. Some people find ego nestling in the back of their mind. Some people find ego whispering into their ear. Call upon your ego and say, ego, observe my wish. What are we going to do to make this happen? At this point, ego will most likely tell you reasons why it cannot happen. And you'll say, ego, don't be silly. If I wish it, it can be. So what is in here that we need to release that is preventing it? And then what do we do to create it? Work with your ego. Ego will present to you ridiculous elements like poor self-esteem, fear of rejection, fear of being yelled at, fear of failure, fear, 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 ridiculous. Anything that is below the frequency of love is not part of your resonance. It is something from experience with the outside world that stuck itself into you and then claimed that it's part of you, but it's not. It's a trespasser. So whatever is in there that is below the resonance of love, work with your ego to figure out where did this come from? Is this a karmic lesson that instead of learning the lesson to completion, I said, oh, let this be a warning never to go here again, and it stuck a non-love in my heart? Or is it a situation where I missed something that left, so I put the yearning in my heart as a beacon for it to return? Is it a warning? Oh, don't do this again. Whatever you find, Greet it, thank it, say, I acknowledge you, I value you for having been one with me, but now is the time for you to be released from me and return to your energy family. Whatever you find may argue with you, no, I belong here, or oh no, at this point, I think I'm ugly and my energy family won't want me. Value whatever you find, thank it, and release it. And then ask the ego to present you with more. Eventually, you may find ego is finding nitpicking details. And you're like, ego, really? This is ridiculous. You can say to your heart, everything here that is interfering with my ability 
to get what I want, I give you permission to release. Get out of here. Go back to where you belong. All of you, every single bit of energy in my heart, if you are below the frequency of love, then you obviously have an energy family elsewhere that is calling to you. Go to your energy family. Get out of my heart. You were one with me. I will always treasure the time we shared together. Now, get out. And send the ego with a broom to sweep everything out. And then invite our beloved Gaia and our wonderful source and all the beautiful energies flowing in through your crown and your root to keep sending their beautiful love to your heart. Invite your heart to absorb all the love. The mana from heaven, the fruits of earth, Fill your entire heart center, not just your chakra heart, not just your physical heart or your cosmic heart, but your entire chest cavity. Become a beacon of love that is being supported by and infused from your beautiful root chakra, your crown chakra, and all the wonderful divine beings that are helping to send all this love flowing in you and through you. By now you may feel all of the beautiful earth love flowing up through you, through your heart, up through your crown to the divine essences above and all of your beautiful source love flowing down through your crown chakra to your heart, down through you to the beautiful physical reality below. You are swimming through with love. You can invite your heart center to even expand. You can send your heart chakra down through your root into earth and through your crown to source so that your entire being is your love, the love for you, the love of you, the love flowing through you. You resonate with love. It even flows out from all of your pores into the space around you. This love that is becoming you. You, just a beautiful being of love, pure love in every mind, body, spirit channel. You can send it up to your soul, to your higher self. And invite the love of your soul to flow back down to you. And send this love flowing to your guardian angel who is with you at all times and invite the angelic love to flow back to you. Let all of this then recalibrate and center and emanate in your heart and flow all through your being. And then think again about what you were wishing for before. 
invite source, your guides and guardians, your guardian angel and all your angelic friends, your soul, Gaia, the trees, the planets, the animals, and all the nature spirits to flow their love through you to your dream, your desire. Feel that connection flowing through you to your heart, to your desire. And now tell ego, follow that line of energy to what I desire and clear the path for me. Make it so. When you are ready, you may return to this room and this space, but feel welcome to maintain this connection. And understand whenever you want, you can snap back into this alignment with just a request to self, to yourself. And the more you go into it, the easier it is to get into it, to stay into it, or to just be in it. Welcome back.